So when you dimension, whether it be in Revit or AutoCAD or however you want to dimension, in this case Revit, you want there to be some kind of structured layering and organization to your dimensioning. You want your dimensioning to be very clear and concise on a floor plan at this scale, one to 50 or one to 100 or one to 200. You'll generally only dimension the walls and perhaps some important internal joinery or furniture, but I tend to do my dimensioning of internal spaces. For example, this game room, I wouldn't dimension the furniture in the floor plan because it can get very messy but i'll only dimension the external walls and the internal walls and to have some layering to this as well is very important as i mentioned earlier i'll usually measure from the inside to the outside so what i mean by that is that the external walls are going to be on the very outside of the dimensioning. This external wall and all the openings are gonna be all in one string of dimensions. And then what I might look at is this internal wall and then these internal walls um, as being in a string as well. So if I press DI, now I want a bit more control over my dimensioning. So I'm going to make this individual references as the picking point. What I'm going to do is measure from this inside face to this wall here. And then I'm also going to measure to the opening start here, the opening ending, so it shows that full opening amount, this internal wall, this internal wall, and then to the end of this internal wall as well. So then this is then another layer of dimensioning. And you generally don't want floating dimensions like this here where it's not referencing anything. You want it to reference the grid so that builders have something to build off of. And this is also showing the thickness of that wall being a 270 millimeter brick wall. So we've got a string dimension of this external wall, and then it goes inside to the internal elements. And this might even include some of the stuff in the games room. And we'll come off of the grid line. We'll get the thickness of that wall there. And then we might go to this internal wall here because there's nothing else, there's no other walls in between. We're not gonna measure um, any of this internal joinery yet, but that shows the internal space. And then I'm also gonna to dimension to that grid line as well. And I'm just gonna lock that on there. What I might also wanna do is measure this wall then last. And I'm just gonna pick that outside wall, pick this inside wall, and then I'm just gonna pick this wall here, get that door, and then get this wall, get this door and so forth. We can grab that all the way to the end like that. And then this is going to be the final layer. Now what I also might do is get just the running dimension of this length to this length as well. So it just shows those two rooms. So if I go from here to there, and then from that internal wall to that internal wall. All right, so already you can see that this string line references just this one wall here. The next one references just, just the wall thicknesses and then the overall length of the master bedroom and the overall length of the games room and that wall thickness as well. The next string line references this internal space and how these walls correlate to each other. And then lastly, just that one string line of these openings here. Now I'm starting to even think that these internal walls probably don't need to be on this plan because we're gonna have a separate plan of this space anyways, which we can dimension. So I'm going to delete that. And this is where just making it clear and legible kind of takes reign over trying to overcomplicate your drawings. But lastly, what I always like to do is dimension between the grid lines as well, because this is what builders are going to be referencing and building off of. It needs to be clear how far apart they are. So I'm just gonna space that out a bit better. And there we go. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials, and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.